Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Healing Time. In this video, I am going to explain you about the paper presentation of the pathology examination. Pathology examination. Before starting the examination, we should know how many pages or papers we should write for the long answer and the 5 marks answer. If it is for long answer, that is 15 marks, we should write up to 10 to 12 papers. 10 to 12 papers. Or if it is for 5 marks, that is short answer, we should write up to 6 to 8 papers. If it is for 2 marks answer, we should write 1 page, not paper page. Understood? Next, moving to paper presentation. Paper presentation of the pathology. The paper presentation of pathology, first we should start with the introduction. Introduction, introduction of the topic. The topic or disease condition or the disease condition we should write. Next, we should write definition. Definition of the disease condition. At least, we have to write two definitions. Two definitions with their authors. With the authors. And next, we should write the etiology 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 means causes that is the causes of the disease condition next we should write the types if there are any types of this disease condition we should write the types if there is no types no need to write types next we should write the pathogenesis 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 means pathophysiology. Pathophysiology. Pathogenesis means how the disease agent or the microorganism is entering into our body. We should write here. Pathophysiology. We should write in the flowchart manner. <clears throat> Next, we should write the sixth heading is risk factors risk factors means who are prone to get the disease condition the particular disease condition next we should write the clinical manifestation clinical manifestation clinical manifestation means the signs and symptoms the signs and symptoms next which after clinical manifestation we should write the we should write pathological features pathological features in this pathological features there are two features that is gross features gross features and microscopic features Microscopic features. In gross feature, we should write the what we can see by our naked eyes. How the tumor is, how how it looks to our eyes, we should write here. With the naked eyes, we should write here. What is visible to us, we should write. Like we should write here the length. Length size and color color of the affected organ affected organ or the body part here microscopic features means if we take small piece of the affected organ or the any organ or body part tissue if we see under microscope we should write those features here under this heading these are microscopic features this is gross future and this is the microscopic future in the next heading 
we should write his diagnostic evaluations diagnostic evaluation in diagnostic evaluation we should write first thing that is history collection history collection next thing we should write we should write physical examination understood next we have to write the other diagnostic evaluations how we diagnose the disease condition the particular disease condition we should write next after diagnostic evaluations we should write the management the management we should write medical management next surgical management 